Well, we all know that there's some serious nights of crazy clubbing yet to come. Fashion has borrowed heavily from this inspirational look over the years. And today at Glamorous, I'm just going to show you how to do the deep brooding eyes and the dark seductive mouth of a cabaret star and bring you on Arshia, a pop bronzed goddess. Well, as always, I'm going to start on prepped eyelids. I'm going to use a little bit of powder, just right there, to catch the excess fall of shadow. Now, to get started, I'm going to use as a base a gel liner called Dip Down. It's deep brown, quite generously, all the way up to the brow bone. Very quickly, before it loses its playtime, I'm going to blend with a blended brush. Try not to blend off the product. You only want to go in where the corners are slightly ragged. Make sure you blend in round movements. Just before I pack on the pigment, I want to do the bottom as well. Line on the bottom. I'm going to blend with a blended brush. So you get a kind of rounded shape. Make sure you soften the corner so you don't want to see any lines. Now I'm going to top up with the fun part. I'm going to use a very heavily pigmented Loose Eyeshadow by Inglots AMC. It's a gorgeous color. There's a deep, deep burgundy in it with hints of blue. Just repeat on the other side. And once you're done doing that, take a bit of your dusting powder and simply dust off the excess. Using a rounded blending brush, just blend off the upper line of pigment. You don't want to use the brush on this area because you don't want to pick the pigment off. Just work it gently over the crease. Now, no flapper girl glam is complete without a whole lot of coal. I'm using Lacme's Absolute Coal in jet black. The messier it is, the better. So, go in nice and deep. Take a blending brush again and simply smudge it along with the brown so you don't see any kind of demarcation between the coal itself and the skin below. Now I'm going to finish off with Clinique's High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. So give the top side of your lashes a gentle coat just to take away any of the pigment that might be stuck in there. I'm going to use Max Dark Mineralized Bronzing Powder. So you're going to go sharp on the cheekbones. Lift them up, give your cheeks a nice hollow. And now I'm going to use Makeup Forever's All Over Shine just to give the cheekbones a lift. Just pick up the light as it naturally falls on the skin. Just work it slightly into your temple, but not all over. Just dab on a bit of the bronzer again, so you even out the lines. Just gonna repeat on the other side. With one of your favorite compacts, or even just a loose powder, you clean up around the eye. You clean up right here, around the mouth. Now for the lips. Well, to finish off with a deep berry lip, I'm going to use Makeup Forever's pencil in 12C. And with a very steady hand, you want to draw in the lip. Just work the lip pencil slightly in. This is only to create a base for your lipstick, which is yet to come. Yeah, just work the color in to the center of the lip as well. I'm going to use a Faces lipstick in a deep garnet. It's called Go Garnet. And that's how I'm going to finish this look. Just make sure you don't get any of this color outside of the lines that you've drawn. Well, this is a one-of-a-kind look, so if you have the guts to do it and the instinct, you should really give it a shot. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay tuned, stay glamorous.